we've gone through the pregnancy journey and we have our bundle of joy, it's time to whip up that body into shape the healthy way. You know that generally during the pregnancy, you gain some weight due to the baby, the placenta, the general fluid retention and all that. But after delivery, you need to shed off some of the weight and there are ways of doing this in a healthy way. Join me today as I talk to our guest speaker, a dietitian by profession, Sophia Amete. How much weight loss would be ideal? That means after the eight weeks, you, you spoke about six to eight weeks not being the ideal time. Yeah. So after the eight weeks, if you want to get back to your pre-pregnancy weight, how much weight loss per week or per month is advisable? Okay. Which, which of the oils are good for us to use as the fats and oil components? I'll start with the second one. Yes. So the, in terms of the oils, you can use the monounsaturated or the polyunsaturated. So I'll That's give examples. That's a very big yes. word for us. <laughs> exactly. So examples are our sunflower oils, okay. our olive oils, we have okay. canola oil, mm -hmm. we have corn oil, we have soya beans, and these are readily available, okay. so we can use them. Okay. Our palm oils can also be used, but we should note that they should be used in moderation. Okay. 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 Concerning the weight loss, so mm -hmm. like I said, the initial six to eight weeks is not the ideal time to lose weight. As much as possible, because you, as you eat your food, it's kind of what helps you to produce enough breast milk for your baby. For the, even for the first six months, it's not a time to go on a strict weight loss. Okay. It's better to do that when you have introduced complementary feeding, where your baby is now no longer depending entirely on your breast milk. Okay. Because sometimes when you um, embark on a strict weight loss, what happens is that it actually affects the quantity of milk you produce. Mm -hmm. So with time, you can no longer support the exclusive breastfeeding you may have embarked on. So I would advise that just make sure you are eating healthily, okay. cut down on the oils and the fried foods, and be active. Okay. And then from seven months, eight months going, you can now begin to be more restrictive on your diet. In addition to drinking a lot of In fluids. In addition to drinking a lot of fluids. So okay. water and things like light soup rather than the juices and the soft drinks. I've read somewhere, I've heard people saying that a weight loss of about one kilogram or 0.5 kilogram a week is good. Okay. That, is me. that means if you are on a sustainable weight loss program, would you advise that for postpartum women? So I wouldn't advise that because okay. losing 0 0.5 to 1 kilo a week is too so drastic a weight loss to embark on and it's often not sustainable. Okay. So you may have a mother who will start but at a point she now feels she's really starving because breastfeeding requires a lot of energy. Okay. It's been advised that you don't even go below 1,800 calories okay. if you decide even to be watching your weight alongside breastfeeding. Okay. We know that we have two modes of delivery, either yeah. from a vaginal delivery or a cesarean section. Okay. So let's say after either of them, okay. let's take a cesarean section. Okay. Is there a particular time that the woman should start? Or so long as she is okay physically, she can start? So in terms of the weight loss, for someone who has had cesarean section, there's a lot of healing required. Mm -hmm. So like I have said from the beginning, up to the first eight weeks, forget Nothing about losing all. weight. Yes. Okay. So after eight weeks onwards, it goes even that it's gradual. Weight loss postpartum should be a gradual procedure. Okay. So focus on making sure you are eating healthily taking in a lot of fluids, okay. being active. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because anything that you do that is going to be very strict and rigid is definitely going to affect the outcome in terms of breast milk production for your baby.